I'm so pleased to be able to share this research that was undertaken by a multidisciplinary team at the University of Queensland in Australia and the University of Exeter in the UK. And it had a focus on how older people are connecting to people and places using technology. So why have a look at ageing and connection? Why is it so important? Well, we do know that as we get older, connection is both much more important and much more difficult to attain. We also know that older people have trouble getting to the locations that help them with their social connection and with feeling connected to the communities that they're in. And we are interested in measuring connection so that we can monitor outcomes and see if we're making a difference with our interventions. And we don't know whether we're doing this in a way that's meaningful to the types of connections people are feeling. And in this context where technology is taking on a new and growing form of being able to support connection, we need to understand this new context. And I have to note that while this research wasn't undertaken uh, during COVID, it was undertaken prior, we may see some relevance as, as I go through these findings. So this study is the first qualitative section of a larger study that was undertaken. We talked to 10 adults, mostly older adults, who had rich perspectives on connecting using technology. We use this information in the study to go on and run workshops and then an online co-design event. But I'm just gonna whoosh through some of the main findings and implications of this first qualitative section. Now, the first finding was that older people definitely talked about different quality of connections. Uh, they talked about high quality connections and these were defined as connections that felt as good as meeting up in real life. As in that connections online were generally regarded as poorer quality, you know, the, the next best thing. This meant people could hear well, see well, get insights into people's lives. This is what meant a high quality tech based connection. Now this might have us thinking that everything's gonna head down the line of virtual reality and, and so forth, but people also described these subjective feelings of really good connection with really pretty basic text based technology. So being able to send text messages or images or, or words to people in a way that was really accessible and simple to use. So here's a description of a social group kind of engaging over WhatsApp and feeling very connected on a regular basis. People also talked about really negative experiences of connection, misconnection and disconnection. So feeling isolated, having less interaction than they previously had, leaving groups because of the negative experiences. People had stress related to trying to make things work or because of the nature of connections that they had, it was difficult to get away from some of the uh, social connections on social media, for example. And people brought up the fact that digital exclusion is a real concern. Not everybody has good internet. Not everybody has internet at home. And some websites that are the only way of accessing you know, government-based information may be causing exclusion. And my gov and my aged care got a, a nod here. People also talked about the fact that when, you know, technology-based connections were the only option, it, it was okay, but it just didn't feel so comfortable. It felt quite effortful to some people. People also shared with us their reasons for connection using technology. Now, the main reason people talked about was they got online because the people they wanted to connect with were there. So younger people in their social networks, people who didn't live near them, and, and importantly, family uh, were on this media. So they did it because the people they wanted to connect with were there. People also talked about connecting to themselves or their identity. So it might be that they have a technology-based identity and they like to try new things, but a lot of people talked about activism and roles that they're able to reconnect with because of technology-based connections. Less commonly, people talked about being able to connect with places using technology, so to visit and check in on places they were no longer able to travel to. 
a really interesting finding to me is that people had a lot of strategies, they had a lot of wisdom about making technology-based connections work for them. One of these was this real um, clever approach to saying, I actually like connecting with people in person, but I can use technology to make the organisation of that easier. I can use technology to feel more confident I'm getting the right words down and then I can send one message and it can go to multiple people and then I have energy left for face-to-face -face connection and travel. People also talked about some wisdom about reducing the harms of connecting via technology. So having their notifications turned off, not having certain apps, on devices or not having devices in certain rooms. So really thinking through the impact that their connections were having on themselves and on others and setting themselves up so their connection worked for them the way that they like to connect with others and their routines. So there are a bunch of implications that we felt came out of this um, research. Even though it's a small study and just a preliminary step, it just gave a whole lot of thinking points. So in the first instance, it showed us that there is potential for technology to support connection and participation with older people. Now, you might think that's common sense and we should be thinking that, but there are a lot of assumptions about technology and older people. Um, and so this was important for us to establish. It also showed us that we have to understand that while there's a lot of um, programs and strategies just about getting people online, they often haven't considered why someone might want to, what might make connections meaningful to someone and worth the effort um, of going through them. So really working with people in an individual way. And I think this is a very occupational therapy type focus to take. The wisdom that people were sharing with us about teaching could be taught. So how they made technology work for them in terms of energy conservation and in terms of minimising harm could be shared with others through peer learning and other strategies. Um, it might help us make better technologies and that's what we've been using it for. It gives us insights to start on how do we measure how connected someone is or how isolated someone is. And it really brings into um, sharp attention that the digital divide is affecting older people. And it's something we need to be really on top of in our practice. Uh, this study was funded and the funding body is there. It's also been published um, and there's the paper. I'm very happy to be contacted with any questions or any interesting collaboration. The website there was for our co-design event that we held. Thank you very much.